This vacant house behind me in Slavic Village is scheduled to be demolished in just a few short weeks. But before that happens, students from the Lincoln West School of Global Studies are helping to transform it into an art piece for the community. They're joining dozens of local artists for the fourth annual Rooms to Let event led by the Slavic Village Development, which aims to help raise awareness for this diverse neighborhood's recovery. See how the students left their mark here and why they hope it inspires others to do the same. Teenagers spray painting the walls in this dilapidated home isn't vandalism, it's art. It really felt good because I had at least my inner artist. Emilio told me he's actually been in trouble for graffiti in the past. He learned his lesson and also learned a lot about art since then. Now he's found a new way to express himself thanks to this school project for the Rooms to Let event. What I did in there, I went crazy. I showed all my artistic skills. I felt good doing it too because I got to help other people with their artwork too. They're all spray painting their names and personal designs on the walls. They also made boxes in their art class that are on display in the room. It's all part of an identity theme. Each student decorated three to four boxes with different facets of their identity. Um, we use different types of printmaking, so we use stenciling, we used acrylic gel transfers, and we use trace mono prints, as well as direct drawing and writing with Sharpie markers and pencils. And when visitors come to the room, they're invited to interact with these blocks and build something. I really want my students to have authentic art experiences and to be able to see how art can be a lifelong journey, that they don't have to stop making art just when they finish art class. And even if they don't think that they're going to be professional artists, that there will always be opportunities for them if they seek them out. Students took the assignment seriously and felt inspired. The three boxes were my memories, my fears, and my hopes and dreams in my future. I got to be able to write, like, draw a picture on the box of myself and everything I fear and everything that I hope for. And I wrote my name on the walls for people to be able to say that I was there and I got to have a part in all this. I got two boxes and my, my life in it, my whole life, like sadness, happiness and all that, yeah, just telling my story. They're not the only ones telling a story in the house. Dozens of other local artists are painting, sculpting, and building here right alongside the students, some even inviting them to collaborate. All the artists, I've instructed them to actually work and overlap with each other. So some of the uh, uh, rooms to let houses, each artist gets their own room. Well, I've decided that I have more artists. I want people to work together and to uh, learn to uh, make room for each other. He calls it the up house, all about positivity, because as he sees it, good things typically go up, like the students' excitement about art after talking with the professionals and seeing their own art go up on the walls. Everybody have fun while they're doing it. I feel really great. You see artists work, do their magic upstairs and all that, they're just really inspired me. It's just my passion now. It's inspiring for us to go and um, be able to paint for the community and my name being up there, my family is happy to see it. I hope that, I just hope that people that go in there get to feel what I was feeling when I got to do all this. When it's all artists that like do, do this for a living and I got to see them in action, it inspires me to be able to do it too. You can see the students' artwork when the Rooms to Let event opens to the public on May 20th and 21st from noon to 5 p.m. There are also two other homes in the area that have been transformed into art installations. The event also includes live music and interactive performances. Reporting from Slavic Village, Shannon Kantner, CMSD-TV.